Hey guys, what's up? Christine Steele here, and today I'm going to teach you how to automatically pull in all of your inbound calls into high level, into your pipeline, so you can see who called you, when they called you, and even do cool things like send them automations. So let's get started. Okay, so I have high level open here, and this is a brand new account. So if you already have a pipeline set up, or even if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're gonna go into settings, and you're gonna go into pipeline, pipelines. And then uh, if you don't have a pipeline, you're gonna do create a new pipeline. And I'm just gonna call it leads. And then, uh, so called me. And again, if you have other stages in your pipeline, just make sure that you put it in the right place. For demonstration purposes, I really only need the called me pipeline here. So I've got that. Now, when I go into my opportunities, I'm going to have called me right here. Okay, now you're gonna want to make sure that you set up all your integrations with Twilio because that's what we're gonna be using here. So you can see here, that I don't have a phone number in this account. So you're gonna to wanna to add a phone number, you're gonna to wanna to pick your area code, click search, choose a phone number, and then you are going to want to go into Twilio and get your API key and integrate it with Zapier. So create a new Zap, Zapier, and then it says uh, choose app, so you're gonna do Twilio. You're gonna have to put in your API keys, and I'm not gonna get into that right now, but it's pretty simple, straightforward, and you can find it in your dashboard on Twilio. Okay, now you want this to trigger on a new call. There are some other options here, but if you want it to trigger when people call you, you wanna say new call. Then you're going to make sure Again, here with the accounts that you put in your account. And here is your webhook. So you are going to copy that in case we need it later. And then here's some sample data. So you're going to have some sample data. If you don't have any sample data, uh, just call your number real quick and it should pull everything in. And you're going to want to make sure that you have some data here. Perfect. Okay. Then uh, create spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. So what I do is I actually have a Google Sheet set up already for all my inbound calls. And uh, you don't have to do this, but I just like having it in one place so that my appointment setters can follow back up with people that called me. So you're gonna pick your Google Sheets account, then you're gonna go in here and you're going to have a spreadsheet that you're calling voicemail drop leads and you want to put the name the phone number and the date of that call now this is important it's not always going to pick name it's not going to always pull that in but if a business called you and that's why you want to set this up then you can turn on your caller id in twilio and it costs a little bit extra but isn't it worth it to know the name of the person who called you, I think it is. So you're gonna want to map the name and the phone and the date, and you can do this by clicking the little plus, and then you're gonna go, okay, okay, I want timestamp. You can even map uh, you know, the city, you can map the state, you can even map the zip code, and it's you can do all kinds of stuff, the country. So if whatever you wanna put in your spreadsheet, make sure you put that in there. And then send data, you can do a test here just to make sure that it puts the row in your spreadsheet. And then in high level, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create uh, an action that says add or update opportunity, and then you're gonna have your API key. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You have to do this for every account here. You have an API key in settings, so you're going to integrate that into Zapier and uh, make sure that you name it appropriately 
so that you know which account that you're using because every account high level has a different API key. And then here is where you're actually mapping the name, the number. Oh, look, I'm bringing in the city and the state and the zip into high level. And I'm marking it as a, a phone call. I'm marking it as a lead. I am doing a, uh, I'm putting it, this is the important part here. Select pipeline, new customer, select stage called me. So if I was going to remap this to the account I just did, I would map it to the pipeline leads and then called me. Okay, so just make sure that that matches. So you can kind of see that I'm, I'm not going to mess with this because it's going to mess everything up on the back end. And then you can also, this is all your custom fields. I do a lot of stuff in, in uh, high level for automation, so I have a lot of custom fields. And then done editing, and then you're going to turn it on. That's it. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, call yourself and make sure that it shows up or have, you know, your friend call you or your mom call you, whoever you want to call you just to make sure that it shows up. But that is how you automatically pull in everyone who called you into your high level pipeline. And then you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So um, you can say when the pipeline stage changes in the pipeline leads, pipeline stage called me, then guess what you can do, guys? You can add them to a campaign. You can send them a text. You can even execute a webhook. You can do all kinds of stuff. So let's just say uh, I'm going to add them to a campaign, and the campaign that I have is going to say, hey, thank you so much for calling uh, nerd level. Sorry, you know, we missed your call. Uh, if you want to schedule an appointment with us, you can schedule online here and give them a trigger link to our online scheduler. So those are some really cool things that you can do with this. And you can also, uh, if you miss the call, they don't connect or whatever, have it actually leave them a voicemail drop. You can have it call them back. You can have it do all kinds of things. If the possibilities are really endless, which is why I love high level so much. So if you guys haven't signed up for high level yet, make sure that you use my link in the description because I will send you a free high level course on how to master high level and use high level like a pro. And I will also send you my bonus snapshot that you can use to import into your account and get started right away. And uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.